Hey guys, so this week we're going to start learning about worship. Um, so I have a little activity to start with. This paper will be in your activity document. And so what you do is you just print this out on a piece of paper, a colorful piece of paper, anything like that. And then this dotted line here, you print, print, you fold on that line. And then you have half of the church here. And then what you're going to do is cut on all the solid lines. You might need your parents' help for this. So I'm going to do that, and then I will be back. So once you cut it out, you have a church that looks something like this. You can fold the doors open or closed. And, um, like... The picture has on here, it's like a little church that you can put over your face, your eyes go in here, and then the doors are where you can talk to and you can remember that God is always there and we can always worship him even when we're not at church. And um, you can worship him during the week when you're not at church on a Sunday morning, or you can worship him anytime on Sunday now because we aren't at the church building at all. So... This is this to start off our lesson about worship this week. So in today's Bible lesson, we're going to be learning about the lady at a well and how she worshipped Jesus even at the well. So Jesus and his disciples were on a trip. They had been walking for a very long time. It was hot and they were hungry. So the disciples went to go get food and Jesus sat down beside a well. And a Samaritan woman came to the well to get some water. Jesus said to her, Please give me a drink of water from the well. The woman said, I'm surprised that you asked me for a drink. You're Jewish and I'm a Samaritan. The Jews and the Samaritans didn't like each other very much. So the woman and Jesus weren't, wouldn't typically associate with each other. Jesus said, You don't know who I am. If you knew, you would have asked me for living water and I would have given it to you. The woman said, where will you get this living water? This well is very deep, and you have nothing to get water with. Jesus said, The living water isn't from a well. Every person who drinks the water from the well will get thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give will never be thirsty again. The woman said, I can see that you are a prophet of God, because you know so much. My ancestors have always worshipped on this mountain. But the Jews say everyone must go to Jerusalem to worship. Jesus said, you no longer have to be in Jerusalem or on this mountain to worship God. God wants people to worship with their whole hearts wherever they are. The woman said, I know that the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will explain all of this to us. So, in this story, Jesus tells the Samaritan woman she can worship wherever. It doesn't just have to be in Jerusalem, where she had been told that's the only place we can worship. So, just like her, the only place that we typically worship is in church, but that's not the only place we can worship. So I'm going to take you on a tour of my house and different places that I worship. So to start, I'm currently sitting on my bed, and on my bed is where every night I journal, and I have a little journal here, and I journal how my day went, and I journal um, and pray to God, and ask Him for help with things, and thank Him for things. So that's how I worship God here, is I write prayers and thanks in my journal. So I'm going to go to the next place and tell you how I worship there. Alright, so this is one of the other places in my house that I worship. I am in my garage. There's my dad's car. And I'm currently standing where my mom's car normally goes, but her car is not in the garage because I've been having dance in here online while we've been at home. So... I worship God through my dance here in the garage. So then I'm taking you to the next place that I worship God. So here I am in my kitchen, and this is another place that I worship God. I love to cook and bake, and sometimes I work with my mom in the kitchen, and um, we work together, and we just worship God through our love of baking and cooking. So I have one last spot that I'm going to take you, and then I have something that I want you to do. Alright, so my last place is outside. I'm outside right now at my fire pit, and um, it's a little overgrown right now. It's been a little cold to have a fire yet, but um, out here my family will have cookouts sometimes, 
when it gets warmer and I'll have friends over and we just have fun together and worship God um, with each other's presence. So something that I want you to do this week is I want you to draw a picture, a bunch of pictures, or take videos like this if your parents help you, and of all the different places that you worship God that isn't at church, because uh, now it's different and it's a little harder maybe to remember to worship God all the time because we aren't going to church every Sunday, but um, I still want you guys to remember that you can worship God wherever you are, so draw some pictures, take some videos of places that you worship God, and if you want, you can send them to me. Um, I love hearing from you guys, so I hope you all have a good week, and um, right now it's a little warmer outside, enjoy the weather, uh, and I'll see you next week.